why me and Brandon's been doing it. I've been getting one piece of material, and we are not going to use this whole thing. But I'm going to take it, and I'm going to fold it from salvage to salvage like that. All right. Hey, Brandon. And I'm going to flip it over this way. And try to hit me. Do it again. Make sure everything's okay. All right. Now, I'm going to turn this one up. I think that's going to be enough. Yep, that will be enough. Let's go just a little bit more and give you just a little bit more. All right. That should give you more. I didn't use it just fine. Alright. I'm going to cut that off. Catch it, Brandon. Alright. Now, I'm going to take this and put it up. Get it out of the way. I don't want no more of that. Alright, now we got four there. <laughs> and now, I've been showing him, I've been doing it like this so she had this side now this part right here right on this side i am cutting it off so it can be down further all right brandon do your job <coughs> Here. Good? Yeah. Alright. Oh, I didn't get that like that kind of It'll be fine. I, I, I see it. Okay. Alright. So now it's my turn. And now this is the way I've been cutting them out. Now, as I go, I am turning my material like that. So it'll make it a, a straight cut all the way around. And I'm doing both the tops first. I'm going to turn this a little bit more. Like that. And now I'm doing the same thing to the D side. And as I am cutting, I'm turning. I mean, you all could do it however you like, but this is just the way that I chose to do it. Like that. Alright, now... I've only got four blocks here, but I'm going to take one block, one block, and I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm just going to eyeball it, because we're going to have to trim it all the way around when we're done. So I'm going to take it half, but that way, like I said, it don't really matter, and then on this one, I'm going to half it this way, Then that way, that gives me two of them this way, two this way, and to this way. All right, now I got to get you moved around so you can see what I'm doing. All right, now as you can tell, me and Brandon, we've already done been going full tilt at this. All right, I want, yeah. All right, I'll take that one first and it'll go down here at the bottom. Oh gosh, I've got two reds together. And we're trying to figure out what we want. And how about, uh, let's see, those colors are fine. All right, how about putting the red right here in the corner? All right, see here what we're doing is just moving things around and making the quilt the way we want it. What do you got there? Okay, we got this. All right, now, I don't want two reds together. So if I took that, <laughs> I got all four of those. Arr, I don't like that. Alright, here. Let's take that one down. Well, shit, this is red too. That ain't gonna help me none. <laughs> oh. 
Anyway. Right, now this and this one I have to go right here. There's only two of these blocks. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't do it. I got that one there. Alright, now we can take a... I've got a blue here. And I ain't got no more yellow. Alright, I got this one. It can go right here. See, I got blue here. A bunch of blue. And I got that one. And that one's a yellow. And that one's a yellow. I could take a brown and put it right here. Uh, you may end up with some that's extra. I got a blue there. I'm only, I'm, why have I only got blue, a brown, and a yellow? And those are three colors right there. Am I going to cut some more colors? Okay, I can put a yellow here. Ain't gonna hurt a thing. What's up here at the top? I got a blue. And I don't want to put another yellow. That sucks, Brandon. Put another brown. See what that would look like. So part of this up at the top is going to be cut off, and we're not going to need it. I'm not going to figure out right here. If I put a yellow there, it'd be two yellows beside each other. So I kind of need to change it. Or do I? I got a blue there. Brandon, this is not turning out the way I thought. And I don't need that one. I don't need that one. I mean, probably need another color. Let's do the red again. That one. Alright, we're going to do a red again and we'll be back. Alright, Brandon had some in his hand. Maybe I could use what I've got right here to make some of it work. Like right in here. Put that one. Alright, and that's about as far as I could go. At least I gave you two that you could use. Yeah, I got, no, I got three. Three I could use. Alright, we'll stick that there. Alright, uh, let's cut out. Um, I need half blocks is what I need. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the same color, but we're not going to cut them in half. We're going to keep them whole like this one right here and then we're going to see what we could choose off of here to put uh, we need one there which will look like this so we got two yellows together there i really don't think that's going to mine do you no and then we got the yellow same yellow up there <laughs> oh that's your halfway mark <laughs> Alright, and then I need a color over here in the corner. I think I'll put a blue. So if I can't do with what I've got, I don't really want to cut anymore. Hopefully it won't slide in the back. Alright, now we need a color here, and I've got the same color there. But right here's a white, or a yellow. God damn it, I don't need two yellows together. And that's a blue. Okay, let's see what we got here. I could put this brown here. I think that would be okay there. I'm not worried about the corners because the corners are going to be real, uh, cut, whacked off. I'm just more worried about these three right here. On this side, I'm not going to worry about cutting anything off the corners of it. I'm worried about these three right here. Okay, now we got one more to put right here. And I can't have a yellow. But, however, I can take 
this one. Exchange it for this one. And then put yellow here. Well, that's what I got. And then these right here, I've got all extra. All this extra. Oh, there's some white. Can I change any of them? Yeah. I can change this one right here to white. Those are halfway mark. Why would you change it? Oh, I'm crazy that way. I'm really crazy. All right, now if we need to, we can go ahead and we got enough to put another row down this side and uh, make it work. But I think that looks pretty good. Now we got to worry about putting, sewing everything together. And that's where the pe most people have their problem, is sewing them together. We carry out two, two blue together. Let's see if we can't split that up. I don't think the cutting out is going to be your problem. I think the sewing it together is going to be your problem. I think that works out pretty good, don't it, Brandon? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to uh, go and edit this part and I'm going to look at this and see if there's anything that I want to change to make sure there is nothing that's really close together on it but now however we're going to look at each thing as a row okay so this is going to be one row this will be a row and this will be a row and that's the way we're going to start putting it together. Alright, so we'll be back after I take a gander and see if that's what I want. With colors. We had some that were together that we did not like, so we moved them. Like this blue one and this blue one. We want to do something with it. We had two yellows together. This, this too close. This yellow was right here. Then I yeah. Them. If you take your hand, Brian, and move it up, move it on it, it'll... It'll hold it. All you gotta do is just flatten it out. Alright, now we got this blue and this blue, and we need to change them around. Um, and can't do it with the yellow. We have the brown. Alright, this one and this one can change. We need help. Well, I only got one hand. If you could tell me. Well, I'm telling you now, buddy. There. Oh, we got two whites together now. I don't want that. How? No, we can't do that one. We can't do that one. How about that green? Change these two right here, Brandon. Give me a second. I'm trying to still. Get you're still. Side. You're still working on that corner. Yeah, I want they want to stay, and I'm doing what you say. See? Here, move. See how I turn it around to the other, yeah. to the corner, put it to the corner. All right, don't mess with it no okay. more. Steve it alone. Wait, which two did you say? These two. Okay. Change them around. Let's see what that looks like. We don't want two together. I think that's going to be better. We're going to step back and look at it. Here, you take care of the camera. I'll take care of these. <laughs> I kind of want them to kind of like where I can see what's going on with them. You did good, Brandon. Alright, I'm going to quit. It was there all messed up. But I think that looks pretty, a whole lot better than it did. I don't see any colors really together. Do you? No. Alright. So we're going to get busy and we're going to start doing a row. Alright, now I have the first two blocks out of a row. And as you can tell, I got this one this way 
And then this one, this way. This tells me that this is the way I need to put it. So we're going to take the first one. We're going to fold it in half. We'll make a mark. Then we're going to take this one. And we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to make a mark. <coughs> then we're going to put pretty sides together and put them marks together. Like this. Now, if you need to, you could go ahead and pin it down. I don't think in the long run that I'm going to have to. But I'll do it for, for you guys' sake. And I'm just going to start pinning it down a little by little until I get to the end of it. Alright, and then we'll do this one. And the way I do it is I get this piece of material lined up with this one. And then wherever it stops at, I put a pin. And that way it will give me a great curve. Alright, now I'll pull this one. And then it'll stop right there. What well, is about every inch apart? It will uh, give you a good uh, curve there. Alright, let's pull that one off. It. And don't worry if you do have a little bit of material on each side here, it's not going to matter. Alright, we're going to do the same thing with this one. It's going to go this way. And then we're going to mash that. And then this way. And then we're going to mash it. And open it up. I'm still this bin for now. Oh, okay. To put my little pieces in where they want to go. Alright. I got this back straight again. Um. Alright, so now we're going to take these to the sewing machine and we're going to sew them down. I'm going to do one with the pins and then I'll do the one without the pins. Alright, so now we're going to start over here. You don't have to worry about back tacking or anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to get mad at our string because it don't go all the way in the back. Ugh. All right. Now, you see all this clop right here? Don't worry about that. We're going to work on it slowly. We're going to take the first pin out and get rid of it. And now we're going to go around like this. Now, we want to take this part and go down with it. Okay? And we want to work up to this pin. Now, we'll pull the rest of it back. Let's get a hold of this pin and get it out of there. And we're going to work up to our next pin. Keep pulling it back until we get it all out of our way. Pull our next pin and keep on the going. Ahead and take that one off. We'll line this one back up. And we're going to go right on ahead and sew right off of it. Alright, now we're going to get this one. And as you can see, we got our pin right in the middle. So we're going to take this one and we're going to line it up with that one. We're going to have just a tiny little bit, not much at all. And now we're going to start on it. Some of you guys may think that the pin, the uh, the pins are better. All right, now we're gonna pull this down to where it's even, right here, and we're gonna sew up to that line. All right, now we're gonna quit. Now we're gonna go in, pull that down, 
and make sure that our next pieces are lined up. I'm going to sew it and stop. All right, now we're getting closer to our pin here. All right, lay it flat out there. All right. So now we're going to take and we're going to make sure that this is straight underneath here and right along with our top material. And we're going to sew to our pin. All right, now we're going to take our pin out. All right, now we're going to pull it up, and we're going to go a couple stitches, stop, go a couple more stitches, and I'm just going to keep on going, and keep pulling my material around. And now we are done. Now, we'll go back to the table, and we'll take a look at them. All right. There we go. Now we're going to look at this one. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to look at this one. Now you can iron them if you want to. Unfortunately, when I plug my iron up, my lights go up and down. Alright, now I'm going to take these two and I'm going to put them on the board and find out where they need to go and then I'll be right back. Okay, I got my next two pieces and then that and the four pieces I just sewed together so each one of these we're gonna have to fold it in half individual and okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and use that one since it's there all right now we're gonna put this one on top of it yet now, like I said, you can use pins if you want to. You don't have to. All right, so that one is ready for me to sew. And now we're going to do the same thing to this one. Half it this way. And then half it this way. Put these two together. Alright. So. Now I showed you how to sew it. And, and that's the way we're going to do it. Now when I get this one done. And this one done. I'll take it back over to my board. And I'll put it up. And I'll sew the last piece on. To this one. Because it will go here. I'll go ahead and do it now. This is our last piece, and it's going to go right there. And we're going to fold it in half. Ignore the fold line. Let's see, how did that one? Yeah, I went on black. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on, too. All right. So, I'm going to sew these down. And then I'm going to sew, it will be this one to this one. And we will have one row completely done. And when we get this row done, then we'll be back. Alright, I want to show you another way that you can do it. Without any pins, because I just done it. Da, 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 da. Alright, we're going to get them out of the way. Now, this is our first row. And how we can tell it is we got the top here and we got the bottom. Hardy hard. hard. Alright, now, so we want to take this one, we want to fold it in half, and mark our spot. We're going to take this one and fold it in half and mark our spot. Now, when we go to do it, we're going to want 
to lay this like this straight with this material going down. We want it straight. We don't want anything left over. We want it all on this side. If anything is going to be left over. Alright, now I had one that had a little bit left over. There we go. Which is right here. And we're not going to worry about that. Because see here how this one, it came out just straight. We're not going to worry about this one. We'll worry about it later on. We don't want to mess with it. We want to leave it. And then when we come back to this one, I'll show you what we need to do to make it work right. All right. <coughs> now we're going to go right here. And now we're going to go right over here. <coughs> now we get you turned around here. Now I want to try to leave this right here in the middle while I line this side up with the core. Now once I get it kind of lined up, we can let go of it. Okay. Now I want to make sure, yeah, our line is still going to match up. So that's what all I'm worried about. All right. Come on. Yeah, you would have to give me this trouble, wouldn't you? <laughs> Alright. No. I'm going to line that one up, and I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to throw this piece up. And then this one right here, like this. And now I'm going to start sewing it. Right till I get to where it needs to turn. Turn the bottom one. Straighten out the top one. Now stop. Now we got our, our marks together. Right here's our mark. And right here is our mark. And they are going to lay just fine together. Alright, let's straighten that one out. Let's straighten that one out. And... Takes a little bit of time to do your curves. But y'all don't be afraid of your curves, man. It, it's, it's so simple to do them. I mean, once you get used to it, you just go, just like I'm doing now, and just go for it and get her done. All right, now let's turn it around here. Make sure you can see. And now here is our first row that I sewed down. Now, it's kind of like in the middle, but I'm not going to worry about it. Man, that bothers me right here. But I don't know. Did he did it cut wrong? No, it's not cut wrong. Okay, how about this one? Is it cut wrong? No, it's not cut wrong. I'm tempted to take it apart so if I can't do it again. Or can I just take and cut right up through here? See? You see how that goes? I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to... I can could, I could fix it later, but I'm going to go ahead and fix it now. Alright. Now I'm happy with that. I can do it, but I'm going to do it later. I don't want to fool with it now. Alright. Let's fix it up, and I'll show you what the other ones look like. I guess you can see where the hole was at. <laughs> now, I had the white one on the bottom and the yellow one on top. Mom and Cat's coming to take the show. Uh, yeah, that surprised me now. Alright, I don't know why, but this right here just don't want to hang. So we're going to hang it for it. Alright. Now we're going to work on one of these. And then we're going to sew it together. So we're going to work on this one. Alright. We know that this one has to go like this. So we're going to take it over here. And I'm going to lay it on my table. The way that it should. If I can get it to lay that way. And make me some room here. Alright. 
Let me hang this back up too. Get our next one, and it's going to go like this. All right, we'll be right back. All right, let's do the same thing that we did before on this one, and we're going to find our middle, and we'll find our middle on this one. Now we're going to pin it. All right, and this one. So we you you do it the same identical way as you would the one with the half on. And then all these are going to be sewed the same way. sew these down and I'm gonna go ahead and get um, get a, another row done why did you turn another row done let's see if I can't fix you I'm sorry but all I did was just half them and put them together I'm gonna get a, another row done and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to put the rows together <laughs> 